Okay, so we need to do a quick introduction to vectors. You guys tell me about vectors. What do you know? So like arrows and like magnitude of vectors. That's what I want to hear. They're arrows. <laughs> <laughs> That'll pretty much do it, actually. Destroy them with lasers. And uh, the reason you would do arrows is maybe you really want to think about, well, I want to think about a point. Right, like an x, y, maybe just for, for ease, let's stay in two dimensions for a second. I'd like to think about points, and I'd like a way to combine points. Unfortunately, I can't just add points, right? That doesn't make any sense. But if I thought about an arrow that ended at that point, and then if I thought about like maybe an arrow that ends at this other point. I have a good idea of how I would combine arrows, right? Another one. Yeah. Seems like you'd take this one and move it over until it ended where the other one, or yeah, until it started where the other one ends, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'd move this arrow up, and then like that would be our result, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's give this some notation. So I'm going to say that vector there is called u. I'm going to call this vector here b. And yeah, I think we should call this vector u plus b. Yeah, and we could rename it w if we wanted to. Right? One thing I'd like you to know, does it matter which order I add in? No. 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 You guys see it? So oh, yeah. this is u plus v, right? Mm -hmm. If I did v first, right? Mm -hmm. And then did u, you guys see I'm going to end up in that same spot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vector addition, yeah. Yeah, so one of the maybe intuitive ways to think about vectors is I just to think about them. I know vectors with spanning. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we're not doing spanning. <laughs> So the intuitive way to think about vectors is just to say, okay, it's the push that it takes to get from 0, 0 to the end of the vector, right? You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So if that's the push, well, if I apply this push first and then that push, that's the same as if I apply this push and then that one. You see that? Okay, so we should maybe give out some notation. Maybe let's do this with, yeah, let's give you some notation. So I want this to be a little bit reminiscent of points. So let me give you coordinates. Uh -huh. So this is how I'm going to write a vector. I'm going to write it as an x, y, or an x, y, z pair. Suppose pair or triple, right? Cool. And really, what I'm going to think about these is I'm going to think from zero zero to x y. Yeah, probably x y, right? That seems reasonable. And then I'm going to think about this guy as from yeah, zero in three dimensions, right? Zero, zero, zero to x, y, z. X, y, z. Okay. So there's another way to think about vectors, which is displacement. So maybe we should do that for a second too. Okay, so the idea of displacement is you have a point here and a point up here, and you want to talk about the vector that you need to get from this one to that one. So how would I draw that arrow? Yeah, straight between them. I'd start here. I want to go there. There's a vector, right? What's the difference between this vector and these vectors that I was just talking about? Yeah, this vector starts somewhere else. Does that make any kind of real difference in the subject? 
Not really. We just need to say when we're basing a vector somewhere else. So if I'm going to base a vector somewhere else, I'm going to write that vector's name. So like this one might be W. And I'm going to base it somewhere. So I'm going to base it at this point P. So I'm going to call it W based at P. Does that kind of make sense? We're not going to use displaced vectors a lot in here, but we will use them occasionally. Cool. Main deal, a vector is a way to think about a point a little bit, except that you can add them, right? But don't think of them just as a point. Make sure you're thinking of them as an arrow that ends at that point. Cool?